أعوذ بالله من عدو الله بسم الله وصلاة الله وسلام الله على رسول الله ومن والاه All praise is due to Allah whom we praise and implore for help we seek for his forgiveness and guidance we take refuge with him against our own evils and sinful acts he whom Allah guides aright none can misguide and whom he leads astray none can guide i bear witness that there is no any deity worthy of worship except Allah alone and he has no partners and i also bear witness that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the servant of Allah and his messenger do you recite the quran do you memorize it do you know the virtues of reciting or memorizing it follow me to know the quran is the most beautiful and precious thing that someone can recite or memorize it preserves the one who memorizes it and opens for him the doors in life and jannah the main duty of a muslim is to read the quran and walk, and walk upon its rules and regulations yet memorizing its chapters are a major blessing and honor قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم خيركم من تعلم القران وعلمه رواه البخاري the messenger of allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said the best among you is one who learns and teaches the quran bukhari narrated the hadith the most beautiful thing about the quran is that you cannot change its words but its words will absolutely change you قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ان الذي ليس في جوفه شيء من القران كالبيت الخرب رواه الترمذي the messenger of allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said he who does not memorize anything from the quran is like the ruined house tirmidhi narrated the hadith allah azza wa jal says in the quran inna nahnu nazzalna adh-dhikra wa inna lahu lahafidhun indeed it is we who sent down the message and we will be its guardians surah al-hijr verse 9 hmm do you know the virtues of reciting or memorizing the quran okay fine do you want to know interesting here are some for your information number 1 the quran will intercede for a person on the day of resurrection the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said iqra'u alquran fa innahu ya'ti yawm alqiyamati shafi'an li ashabihi read the quran for it will come as an intercessor for its memorizer on the day of resurrection rawahu muslim Muslim narrated the hadith number 2 the hafiz ascends the ranks of paradise upon his memorization level he who memorizes the quran will rise in jannah according to the extent of his memorization and the more he memorizes the higher he rises in ranks qala rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam yuqalu li sahib alquran اقرا وارتق ورتل كما كنت ترتل في الدنيا فان منزلتك عند اخر ايه تقراها رواه احمد وابو داود والترمذي ابو داود عن الترمذي narrated this hadith from Abdullah ibn Amr that the prophet peace and blessings of Allah be upon him said it will be told to the companion of the Quran read and recite as you used to read when you were in the world for your status will be at the last verse that you recite this hadith was classed as sahih by albani in al silsila as sahiha note that what is meant by the companion of the quran is the one who memorizes it by heart in another version the prophet peace and blessings of allah be upon him said fasting and the quran will intercede for a person on the day of resurrection 
fasting will say, Oh Lord, I deprived him of food and desires during the day, so let me intercede for him. And the Quran will say, Oh Lord, I deprived him of sleep at night, so let me intercede for him. And then they will both intercede for him. This hadith was narrated by Ahmad at Tabarani and Al Hakim. Number three. The one who recites as a memorizer is among the angels. The Quran lifts its hafiz to reach the levels of the angels, that is the malaika. Bukhari narrated the hadith from Aisha that the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, مثل الذي يقرأ القرآن وهو حافظ له مع السفرة الكرام البرر ومثل الذي يقرأ القرآن وهو يتعاهده وهو عليه شديد فله أجران The Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said Such a person who reads the Quran and masters it by heart will be among the noble righteous scribes that is the angels in heaven such a person exerts himself to memorize it by heart and reads it with great difficulty will have a double reward. Number, number four, the, the memorizer of the Quran is among the people of Allah. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, inna lillahi ahlina minan nas. Qalu ya Rasulullah, man hum? Qala hum ahlul Quran, ahlullahi wa khasatuh. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah has his own people among mankind. They said, O Prophet of Allah, who are they? He said, they are the people of the Quran, the people of Allah and those who are closest to him. Number five, the, the memorizer and his parents are honored on the day of resurrection. What an honor for the Hafiz and his parents. It is absolutely the best honor to get in life and the afterlife. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من قرأ القرآن وعمل بما فيه ألبس والداه تاجا يوم القيامة ضوءه أحسن من ضوء الشمس في بيوت الدنيا لو كانت فيكم فما ظنكم بالذي عمل بهذا The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said He who memorizes the Quran and acts according to its contents His parents will be given to wear a crown whose light is better than the light of the sun in the dwellings of the world if it were among you So what do you think of the person who acts according to this? Add to this a beautiful blessing that Allah has granted us. If you will be a reason for someone else to read, recite, or memorize the Quran, you will. Number six, the memorizer has precedence over others in leading a prayer. The memorizer has priority over leading in prayers because his stead read is better and he knows more on how not to make how to read and not make mistakes qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ya ummu alqaum aqrauhum li kitabillah the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said he who, who he the person that is most versed in the book of allah should act as an imam for the people rawahu abu dawood abu dawood narrated the hadith there is a major problem if someone memorizes the Quran and doesn't apply it in his life. It will become an argument against him on the day of resurrection because the Quran should not be recited only by the tongue, yet it should be felt by the heart and applied through your senses. O oh Allah, make us among the people who memorize your holy book and apply it in our lives. O oh Allah, make us among the people Oh Allah, make us among the people who read the Quran during the night and at the ends of the day. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.